boy. Welcome back. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. You walk to Eplar, Mirror's Edge. This is it. The last level. The shard. I'm leaving. I'm going home. Vengeance can happen later. You notice how we don't have our boy on the mic now? Because he's... He's gone. We lost him. What was his name? Merc? We lost Merc. I swear his, ve his voice is deeper over the radio than it is in the cutscenes, but that's fine. Oh. Huh. I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, it looks like we're supposed to get into the backdrops. But how? Right here? Oh. Uh-huh. Can get in that way. The first step of the mission is a puzzle. A very defining difficult difficult puzzle. Unless Nope. So that's this side. That's that side. Can I just climb out of this hole and go through the front door? Like a <laughs> like a bad mother? Like Spike Spiegel or Max Payne? Just walk in through the front door? No, that's not Fate style, to be fair. You right. Ah, uh, but now you're making me think outside the box. Oh, okay. Hint vision told me. No. Well, I'm, oh, 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 I'm stupid. Okay. All right. I get it. Yeah. Here. Back it up. Oh. There it is. Spicy girl. Do it. Show them how it's done. Right in there. Right in the pocket. Slide away in. I kind of stopped there for a second, but then I kept on going right after, so it counts as fun. <gasps> oh, got it. If you were wondering where that one was, I don't think I ever found that one before. Oh, wow. Hmm, I'm tempted to see what it does. Did I mention I love the use of color in this game? I'm gonna look at it. It's so pretty in a clean way. Alright, so what do we want to do? We want to explode that? Oh, oh, thank God I made it in time. It goes off after a while because it makes it over here to the uh, sparking door. That was nice. <laughs> Good thing I immediately thought to myself, hmm, better check the other corner before that gas does anything. Oh! No, no backups. Yeah, yeah, science! Alright, where are they? Ow! Where am I now? Ow! Oh, you can still shoot me from there. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Alright, 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 right there. Right there. Slam jam to your man. Okay, take cover, take cover. You taking shots? <sighs> I can't I can't get underneath that. But this big gun is helping me a lot, I'm not gonna lie. It is putting in the work. Let's go upstairs. Let's get the high ground on them. I'm loving this. This is completely different from the first time I played through. <laughs> Fate smash! You know how good it feels a long time ago when I was a wee nino? Going through this game and going through the pacifist achievement. 
Now, who there? Who? He stuck behind me. Clever girl. And now I get to come back and actually use the big gun. I shall switch it out for an even bigger big gun. Actually, it's about the same size, but it feels good. All right, this glass is already broken. What's in here? Huh? I could take the elevator or... All right, there's nothing in here. I'm gonna say, is there a way where there's more enemies where I can shoot more of them? Ooh! The silver elevator. What? Hey, 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 hey. The grim scene greeted the shoppers in the Western District today. A van carrying Kate Connors, suspected of murder of politician Robert Page, a uh, binary hijacked, overturned on the Hudson Street before exploding into flames. Are aware about the suspect and the hacker uh, of West Side? They don't even know. All right. Ooh. Security firm Pirandello Kruger have been authorized to draft this is in nice. until Kate Connors has been re I'm liking these couches. This is an expensive place. Oh. I can't take my gun Our with me. On the hour. If that's the case, this is where I think about your expensive furniture. Yeah. Yeah. It moves like they do. I won't let them know that I'm here. Callahan! It's me, Kate. I'm here about my friends and my feaster. Ah! I should have announced myself so much. Good work. Check her. Oh. Gonna shoot me too? No. Right now, you're Kate's best hope. Weren't these your guys? No, they're PKs. Pirandella crew. Private security. What's going on, Miller? Hope's murder. Turns out there was a man on the inside. Roper? This guy was always on our side? Right about him. Even though he looks like he should star in his own video game? But why Kate? They needed a CPF cop to look like Pope's killer. No time to explain more. Take this comms unit and head for the roof. It's where they've taken Kate. I'll contact you when it's safe. Unless I'll he's playing the off. long con. Look at the him. Roof. Go. This doesn't now. happen in real life. The all-white cop who always goes akimbo. That's some... It's so made up, it's beautiful. I, I probably should have taken a gun with me. No! I'm the suspect now. Ow! 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 Alright, take cover. Remember your training, Kate. It had nothing to do with shooting people, but now it does. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> ah, hit him! Hit him, Kate! Hit him! Why I oughta? Mine! Belongs to me! This is a woman's gun. I can tell by the size of it. Yeah, you like that? You like that? They kept the recipe right just for you. <laughs> I learned it from you, Dad. Alright. Alright. I think I made my point. Let's bring you with us up to the stairs we go. Is that an elevator? No, oh, there is. Fancy that. <laughs> I think I want to get to floor 250, I don't know. Maybe or area 300 and the restricted area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, this is a beautiful little sky blue elevator. Kind of cozy. There was no scene where I got to get a machine gun and leave a note on a chair, though, that said ho, ho, ho. So it's missing that, that little bit of that Nak Nakatomi Tower feeling. But it still got it. It has it. That's just a little bit more flavor. That's a little bit more MSG on the top that would have been there. Is that the voice from the EVA suit from Half-Life? Lily opened up. Ah, oh, what? Damn you, science! Maybe we can clear this place up a little bit. I 
I'm in the security room, tracking you on the cameras. Get out of the elevator, they're coming. Kate can't climb with the um, uh, big guns, so. I see. Hmm. So, should I just leap for it? I feel like I'm gonna miss. Oh, 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 well. That's not the way you want to do it. Is Mio accelerated faster than normal on that one? Yeah. Let's go down. Are we going down or up? It looks like we're going down. Oh, that's two elevators. You don't get a lot of room. In the elevator shaft. Listen, there should be an entrance to the ventilation system somewhere in there. It'll take you outside, but you should be able to find a way back in on the other side of the building. Might just be enough to throw them off the scent. Okay. So just delete for that hole, or for the middle? Or oh, okay. Well, either way was bad. Next one's coming down is going to be right there in front of me, but not if I go real fast. I'll be fine. Yeah. What? That was dangerous. So what do I want to do here, though? Let's wait for two of them to pass. <laughs> there you go. Oh god! Really? I thought there was another platform underneath. Alright, this is a bit challenging, actually. Hooah! There you go, Kate. Hey! Kate's your sister. I'm confusing them now. They look so similar, I'm not even... I never even played Kate in the game. I'm going, there you go, Kate. There you go, you'll figure it out. You're a smart woman. You, you got the math and the science on your side. No, 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 no! Oh, okay. That one's mean. That one right there is mean, because, like, you can't wall run it. You have to literally leap and land. Like a gazelle. Alright, 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 Slide it in. Give it a little slide. You're gonna pass by real soon. There they go. Ooh! That, not that again. Alright, we're in. Let them pass by again. Right there. Oh, thank God. All right. Do we get a checkpoint at any point? No. Okay. No. Let him pass by again. All right, there you go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Good thing there wasn't a hidden item in that one, right? Could you imagine? Oh god, these are the counterweights, aren't they? <laughs> man, this is actually... Ooh, man. Okay. Ah. Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. Alright. Easy. Breezy. Right in there, right in the pocket. Oh my, no my god. <laughs> Woo! This place is a party and a half, I tell ya. Alright, let's do it. It ain't over till it's over. And now it's over. Because we were too, a little bit too to the right. Alright, I can fix that. Ooh. Ho ho ho! Alright. Now what? Do we literally have to... Oh, you know what? I know what I have to do. Yeah. And now... Yeah. And away we go, Sagittarius. Yes! Uh, 
<laughs> Some call outs would be nice, right? <laughs> Roll it in. Think vent girl stamp thoughts. Oh, really? Do you think it's above me? Yeah! Where is November? Who's November? I was too young to remember exactly how it started. The authorities said the changes were for the greater good. But good isn't the same as right. This is the first time Kate's having an inner monologue. It's kind of awesome. Hold on, did this place get blocked off now that I went up there and grabbed that secret? November was definitely a code name for someone else, right? Hold on, this one... Now I'm confused. Looks like this is the way you're supposed to go. But it was a secret area. Was this always part, part of the narrative? Where's November? November's definitely not here. Alright, wait. So that one's set up to where it wants you to find it, but this is the correct way over here. Okay, I get it. It was difficult to find, but they set it up in a way to where if you were thinking lin linear, you would have found it. I see you now. There's a sniper team guarding this area. You can get back in on the other side. Be careful, Faith. Oh, good. Shooting and dodging, then. Ow. I've been shot. Alright, I get it. Mm, not there. Oh, come on. Do, do I get a dodge feature? Do I just have to take it and take cover? I wonder how this plays out in the harder difficulties. Can you take more than one shot on, like, the hardest difficulty? Oh. I can't even tell if they shot me that time or if I just took damage from the fall. You see, that was a shot in midair. Unless you just, like, literally one shot would not kill you. Because otherwise, I have no idea how you would do this. Like, will you just slide around a lot? And hope that the slippy slides and mitigate the damage? I'm just curious. I want to know what's the play here. Oh. Okay. They're sending reinforcements. Sniper team. You gotta take them out. Hey, the reinforcements. Oh god, they're over here. I see you. Oh, you guys are good. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. You know, I'm going to take cover for a second and get my health back. Since that's the way we're doing things now. Okay. Reinforcements down. Where's the other sniper? There's three of them. There were three of them. Unfortunately, I can't run and jump with the big guns. None of them had pistols either. So I gotta figure out how to get over here. Oh, okay. he was up here. Where's the rifle? That's mean. Rifle disappeared after a little while. 
Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Because it fell off the side. It's fine, it's fine. What? What was that shot come from? Oh, this guy's way over there. Trying to give me the business. This fence is electric. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna have to be out in the open for a second. Wait for the shot. Shoot your shot. Shoot it. Come on. Hey, <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. Red Rover, move over. Gotcha. And now, with the high caliber rifle. Just because we can. You're not gonna even duck or hide, guy? Alright, well. It's over. I am the high ground. <laughs> what is the achievement for shooting every single guy that you could possibly shoot? Oh! <laughs> Tuck and duck it, man. Tuck it and duck it. Security checkpoint. All right. Let me in. Oh, oh here we go. Can I break this? No. What is this? The indoctrination area? Elevator ahead. I've managed to unlock it. Take it to the server room. You should be able to get to the top floors and gate from there. Is there a gun here? Is there a gun I can have? Security checkpoint? Did anyone leave a gun? No. No. Stupid Acer Corporation. I'm digging the dark, <laughs> like the blue velvet cake. <laughs> Elevator over here. Check this out. I'm coming for you. I can't remember who's behind all this, but I'm coming for you. I'm gonna get you. Uh-oh, the blueness is going away. This city. Put your hands on the glass, Kate. I'm Faith. <laughs> it looks Get like something about Kate for some reason. The roof are closed. Okay. If you destroy those servers, their emergency protocol should automatically unlock the doors. I hope. Someday. Someday. Right. Look around. Ah. Surveillance for the whole city right under your nose, Faith. Sounds like they've taken Kate to the roof. They've got a chopper coming in. You oh have to God. be quick. What the... Miller? Miller! Alright, 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 alright. Timing was a little off. Skip it? Oh, that's not the skip button. This is the skip button. Here we go. Oh god, they're shooting the mess out of me. Alright, how am I gonna do this? Because I want to do the violent option. <laughs> I gotta separate them. Yeah, there you go. Now, oh, come on, can I? Why can't I just grab it once he's like full turned? All right, this time, patience. Patience. Tuck it. Pick it up. Oh, he pulled back. He's like, she's got a gun now. <laughs> That's one done. Oh, God. His gun's really big. And he's mad. Oh, all the glass is exploding, too. We needed that glass. That's part of the server room glass. Alright, I'm gonna wiggle waggle my way around here. Integrity failure, no, my integrity. No, ah. ooh. Gotcha, sucker. Alright, and now we grab this thing. This should help us. Is there integrity failure up here? No? Okay. I don't need to go there then. It's not my integrity failure after all, it's theirs. 
This is way different. This is way easier. I remember this took me a while. Not normal. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to break all this stuff? I'm guessing, right? Oh, you just need to hit each one once. Wait, keep, keep the gun, just in case. So, if you're doing pacifists, you just have to run around and get them to shoot all these for you. Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop pushing that button. Alright, now that I've done that, does that open up the door upstairs, I wonder? Right? I can't mimbi. Aha, uh -huh, it does. Which one do we like, though? It doesn't matter, they go both at the same place. It's me, Faith. Okay. It's a weird, thick loading screen. Kate! I'm here for you, Kate. Oh, there's a puzzle element reintroduced. I gotta put my gun down, don't I? And use math to get out of here, don't I? Yeah. Stop. Stop. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, get a little bit of joy out of it. Can't shoot the fence door down, that'd make too much sense. Alright, slide in this time. You remember what happened last time you went through a roof door? Got punched in the square face. It's over, Red Rover. Really? This dude who was acting sus the entire time was the traitor. Who would have thought? You couldn't. Attitudes like that. Well, that's exactly why I could. Who's behind this? Let's just say I know who the bigger fish are. Who are fish? We're no threat. Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without hope. And without the runners. Your clients. Those who just won't let go of the old city will be cut off. Vulnerable. Then this city can clean up the last of its dregs. So this is just the start. I prefer to think of it as an end. Still. You did a remarkably good job of coaxing out all those loose ends surrounding Pope's demise. That's Man. why you're still alive. That would be a good time for a uh, bait to have capitalized. They had double teamed it. You can't live on the edge all your life, Faith. Sooner or later, you have to jump. Kick. This isn't good. Whoa. The final boss is a cutscene. I don't mind it because, like, There was no really, there was not really boss fights, it was more of a action puzzle game. And the puzzle, that last puzzle right there is like, be fast, use everything you've learned. Although I kind of messed up the, the slide part, but it let me get away with it. See? Kate's a little bit taller too. But what about the guards that were up there? They didn't just mysteriously die, they could still be coming. Did they give up? Like, yeah, the guys that were shooting at me as I was running towards the helicopter. 
<laughs> Was that their time to clock out? Look how pretty that is. Could you imagine? They just go, you know what? I just saw her kick that dude in that helicopter. I'm gonna go home. I'm on overtime already. A lot of gunshots were fired. The police are on their way. They can clean this up. I, <laughs> I was getting paid by that guy, and now he's dead, so... You know what I mean? And that is not the end. That is not the end of Mirror's Edge. What, what did I like about it? What did I like about it? Uh, you can actually, like, if you don't like the signposting, like, I hear tell, like, some people are, like, getting tired of that, and this game has an interesting feature called, kind of like similar to uh, Assassin's Creed Eagle Vision. It's called Rudder, Rudder Vision, and that's the part where you look at something and it glows red, telling you that, like, this could be part of a sequence to get you to the next area. You can actually turn that off. Although, for a lot of the game, there's a lot of parts where if it's your first time playing through it, I wouldn't recommend it, because that would... It would take you a long time to figure some of those things out, I think. Especially the part uh, on the boat where the lady is shooting at you while you're trying to get over to her. I think that would have been, like, super detrimental. Uh, there's that other part where you have to, like, do that long leap to the other building and turn around and do another long leap to a pipe. But the pipe is, like, right there at the maximum distance. So if you convinced yourself that it wasn't that pipe, you could waste a lot of time trying to go for the uh, balcony thing to the right. I guess, I don't know, maybe yeah, you would figure it out eventually, and you'd have some sort of sense of accomplishment because you didn't use the runner vision or whatever, but I would recommend, like, if you want to get good at Mirror's Edge, you definitely, I don't know, I think you should go through run, rudder vision first, your first playthrough. Turn it on and use it to your advantage. But as you can see, it's relatively a short game, but I remember when it came out, I really enjoyed it just because it was so different. I liked how the gunplay was optional, but there, and also it does feel like you're playing as someone who just, who's never been, like, are not initiated with guns, but they know how they operate, because she just picks them up and starts blasting and then tosses them away as soon as they're out of ammo. Which is fair, because she's not gonna... She's not... She's running. She's moving fast. She's not taking the time to grab, like, search dudes for their extra clips, or their extra belts, or whatever, you know? She's just going. Hold on. Oh, no, I was talking about how when you check out the servers, there's been a bunch of security breaches all over town. Uh, I liked it. The story was actually kind of... Hard to, uh, yeah, like, it wasn't hard to follow, but it's also, like, a little bit right on the nose. Obviously, this Callahan Corporation wanted to use the runners and make their own runners to, like, set up this conspiracy. And now they're going to take out the runners so that the clients of the runners would basically have to go to through them. And then they'd be controlling both sides of that of the narrative space that they were controlling in this corporate espionage. Because I think the dystopian future that they're living in is where the government has less power than the corporations, right? Sort of like that. Uh, I forgot what future has that. I guess like Blade Runner would be a good example of a future where the corporations are are the governments and the governments are not like a thing anymore. I feel like that's the dystopian future th that it was leaning towards. To like th this, these are the moves they were making to make that their future, and the runners were sort of like this middle group of corporate espionage that was sort of fighting against that. The rebels, if you will. So not bad. I'm curious to see how Mirror's Edge Catalyst takes this concept and goes with it. I know that it had more of a a free roaming aspect, which I thought was cool, and then need even like maps out there in the city where there were like speedrun challenges. And I believe the entire game took place like none of it's like ground level, if I remember when I looked at it. I didn't play a lot of it, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, but I remember like most of the game from what I saw takes place 
on the rooftops or inside of buildings that are higher up on the level. Kind of reminds me of like, like the fifth element to where no one goes to the ground floor because that's where like the smog layer is. Like you'd have to, you have to be like the, uh, the mole rats from SCP Foundation or something. You have to be like, you have to be geared out to like go spelunking into the fog area. That's kind of what it reminded me of uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, except there's not a poison cloud down there. It's just like inaccessible to you because you're so high up. You're living up here in the upper levels of the city that are all like interweaved and connected. So it'd be interesting to go through that one and actually beat it because last time I played it, I only went through like maybe 20, 30 percent. But anyway, Mirror's Edge. Music's not bad. Story is all right. It's there. Gameplay, it's really nice. It feels really good when you finally get what you're supposed to do and you move it, you move it about. And once you get like to the other side of the puzzle of the parkour part, it's like, yeah, all right, I figured that out. Next time I'll do it faster because now I know what to do. Uh, once you, like, there, there is a certain satisfaction when you get a chain going, a flow of back and forth of instantly, boom, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here that I really like. And then my favorite thing about the game, honestly, is the use of color. Like, gr granted, it's easy for them because they chose a very stylized, sim simplistic, like, chromatic view for most of the city. Like, it's either reflective or white. And then you have the signs. There's only, like, from the majority of the game, there's only, like, two advertisements that are, like, just two colors, like, either orange or blue and then even when you get to the mall the ads are different but they're all like yellow and I think that's actually part of the story's the game's narrative is because faith sees things differently than a regular person so I feel like the city is colorful and has different textures and layers but faith's runner vision alters it to be more chromatic more focus driven I forgot what it's called there's a condition there's a hold on my the auto light detect. I wave my hands too close to the camera. Uh, there's a certain condition I know people have, I forgot what it's called, to where when they're reading, they have like this condition that actually helps them read faster because they, every single letter is a different color in their mind when they read. So like it, it helps them read faster and better. I, I forgot the name of that condition, but I wonder if like runner vision in the story is just a different version of that. Because going through the mall, everything was very yellow. And even the ads, the ads were all different, but they were all had this yellow tint or hue to them. And I thought there's something pretty about it. Oh, it's something, it's a very clean and modern look that they go for. And I think it works very well, especially in this game. But anywho, that was Mirror's Edge. Like it. Go out there and play it for yourself. Figure it out. Find all the secrets. Find all the mysteries of the deep. As you can see, it had like the the runner bags, which to me, the way they were hidden played off a little bit. Maybe, maybe it was inspired a little bit from like the hidden areas from Portal of like, is the, the cake is a lie or people were here? Because that, that definitely makes it feel more lived in. Other runners have ran through this place before. I liked it a lot. Made it feel, made the world feel deeper. But we're gonna leave this right here. Mirror's Edge. Thank you all. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Ewok Templar, hit that like button. Keep on posting, and I'll see you all in the next game. Don't take it easy. Did I mention I love the use of color in this game? I'm gonna look at it. It's so pretty in a clean way. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to explode that? Oh, thank God I made it in time. It goes off after a while because it makes it over here to the uh, sparking door. That was nice. <laughs> Good thing I immediately thought to myself, hmm, better check the other corner before that gas does anything. Oh.